Most of us know all too well, temperatures this cold can have an impact on your vehicle. Yeah, but the frigid temperatures can also bring a special set of concerns to those electric vehicle owners. Maury Glover joining us now with more on the challenges that you likely haven't heard of, whether you own an EV or concerning, uh, considering one right now. So what's the deal here, Maury? Well, you know, when it gets cold like this, many car owners worry about whether their car will actually start. But owners of electric vehicles have to worry about how long their charge will last. Number one, it's saved me money on gas. Number two, it's helped the environment. Donnie Wynn has owned a Tesla for the last two years, and he knows when it gets cold, he won't be able to drive his electric vehicle as far on a single charge. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't know, is it the right choice to drive EV in the cold weather or live in a cold state? A study by AAA found that when the temperature dips to 20 degrees and the driver is using the heating system to warm up the cabin, the range of electric vehicles could drop by as much as 41 percent. A spokesperson for AAA says that's because the cold drains the battery faster. And unlike combustion engines, which generate their own heat, electric vehicles rely on electricity to power the heater, which is diverted from operating the wheels. Everything in that vehicle is running via this electricity. It's going to be taxing the mileage that you're going to be able to go because that energy is being rerouted to other places in the vehicle. AAA says EV owners should be aware the cold can reduce their vehicle's range and park their car in a garage if possible to keep it out of the elements. Owners of electric vehicles may also have to charge them more often when it's cold to minimize the chance of being stranded by a dead battery. It might not help decrease the impact, but it'll help make sure you are safe while you're still driving. Wynn says he knew how the cold can affect EVs before he bought his Tesla, but he was willing to take the chance. Hopefully, you know, next uh, decades, you know, the um, batteries will be um, better. Uh, you know, last longer and um, and the technology, of course, you know, will advance and we'll have uh, better battery technology. Now, AAA has started a pilot program in a couple of cities where battery trucks drive around and can charge an EV's battery. But so far, no word on when or if that program will be available here in Minnesota. Reporting live in Eden Prairie, Maury Glover, Fox 9. All right, Maury, low push.